What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a vlog. I haven't filmed in like a year, maybe less. I think it's about a year. So this is mad, but we are going to Berlin. So I thought I'd film a vlog um, because I've actually got something exciting to film. So yeah, um, I have new glasses now. So a bitch is blind. So that's exciting stuff. I feel like I am rocking J Well vibes right now, so that's a good time. Um, so the time is, I think almost quarter past six. Ooh. We're gonna, oh my God, I literally can't vlog. We're going to get the coach to Heathrow. So we're chilling out for a bit before we have to go and get our coach. We've been running on a strict time schedule. So we're actually ahead of time because um, my brother-in-law gave us a lift home, so that was really good. 30th banner, whoop, whoop, whoop. Jake's 30th, very exciting. Can you see him there in the chair? Texting away. Um, so we're heading to Heathrow tonight, staying in a hotel. And then our flight is at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So that's okay. There's my cute ass wall. If you can see, very cute, very spooky. Yay, yay for the spook. Um, my eyebrows look so dark. These are like natural. There's like nothing. So that's fun. Um, at least they've, they've been uh, threaded recently. So they're actually decent. My skin, on the other hand, is problematic, which is not a good time. But yeah. Terminal 2 and 3. Now we need to try and find our hotel. I think we can get the shuttle bus. Lord knows where that is. So now we're on a hunt for the bus. We made it to our hotel. Hooray, hooray. We are staying in the, I think it's just Leonardo Hotel, which weirdly we booked last minute. So it's Sunday today. We booked it on Friday. Um, but the hotel we booked for Berlin is also a Leonardo Hotel. How strange. Um, so Jake booked it. I feel like he was expecting company. We have a double bed and then a single. It's either that or I'm going to be kicked out of the bed when I snore. Don't know. There's a cocktail menu. Hopefully the bar's open late enough. Hello. <laughs> so I will check back in when we're hopefully at the bar drinking. Day one, not really day one because we're not there yet, but still counts. Repping my Pierce the Veil t shirt. So I had a fun on the beach cocktail, very PG, and then a planter's punch. Hopefully, we're going to put the TV on in a minute and just watch some trash until we go to sleep. So I will check back in tomorrow when we go for breakfast. Good morning. The time is 7 a.m. This is the time I would usually get up for work anyway, but I am feeling it. I'm really hoping there's a spoons at the airport because I've seen you can build your own breakfast now and I'm just going to have 90% hash browns, 10% beans and love my life. <laughs> so we've just passed security and check-in and we found a Harry Potter shop. Ravenclaw galore. I'm so happy, so cute, and I want everything, including this baby's a girl. Ooh. This bougie ass bookmark. I want it all. So the time is 8:52. Um, we found spoons. We are here. Jake has gone to order the breakfast. We're both going to get a vegan breakfast, and then it's unlimited coffee which is a definite must. Um, Jake only got four hours sleep last night. I managed to sleep, which I was quite impressed with. Um, our gate opens at 9.20, so we've got about half an hour till it opens, and then it closes at 9.40, so we've got enough time. Ooh, coffee mugs are here. 
time for coffee. super old. It's very weird. We're waiting in a baggage. Is it baggage claim? Is that what you call it? I don't know. I really need a wee, but there's no toilets. Yeah. We are at the, I can't remember what it's called. It's Berlin Hauptbahn. I don't know. A big train. Bahnhof. A big train station in Berlin. We have found a McDonald's because in Germany you can get a vegan burger. Oh, I'm so excited, it's got lettuce, it's got onion, 100% meat free, beyond excited. So this is our first time trying them. My sister recommended it. She came to Berlin um, like a month ago. So yeah, I'm gonna dig in and enjoy myself. We have arrived in our hotel room, finally. That was super long, we had no idea um, how to use the trains or anything it's so so different to like London or whatever we're used to so that was mad but we've made it hooray hooray a bit of a walk from the train station but that's all right weirdly we have two beds pushed together <laughs> so that's really strange so we're gonna have a little explore because we read online there's like a like a sauna or like a steam room or something and a wellness area whatever that is then yeah not sure what else we booked tickets for the basketball this evening so we'll do that and yeah who knows now it is a fucking holiday for the boy row so we started a little exploration of the hotel and they have like a wellness bit. Um, so there's a gym with some equipment and we found this like outdoor patio thing and you can see the TV tower there. And then behind me this way, there's a church. So that's really cool. But we have arrived at the Mercedes Benz Arena. Woo so that's where we're gonna be watching the basketball. It's Berlin, Berlin, Berlin's home team, I think, against, I don't know, something Merlin, I don't really know what that is. Um, so we've gone past the East Side Gallery, not gone in yet because it's quite late. We just want to get something to eat and then go and watch the basketball. So yeah, hopefully we find somewhere nice. This bit's really pretty, all like lit up and stuff. So I'm hoping there's somewhere nice to eat here, grab some food and then go and watch the basketball. So we decided to choose a Japanese restaurant. The food looks amazing. I'll show you guys a little picture now. Jake's tucking in, enjoying himself. He's eating some gyoza. Delish. Today is Tuesday, still in Deutschland. Um, so 
I didn't film last night after the basketball, um, so we finished the basketball. Alba won, woo! So that was good. Um, it was actually a really good game. The atmosphere was really good. We've been to a basketball game in London before, an NBA game in London, um, and the atmosphere wasn't amazing. Only towards the end, when it got a bit like the scores got a bit closer, but um, it was quite flat throughout. But Alba were just mad all night so that was really good and they served prosecco so that was amazing um yes yeah, so we literally just watched the basketball got the bus home and went to bed so the time now is about 10 so we've got up i've got dressed so i just need to like finish getting ready doing my makeup and stuff yeah so the plan for today is we have found a self-guided walking tour online which is good because it means we can if we've already been somewhere or we're going to it later like the tv tower we're going tomorrow so we can sort of just skip that bit um and if we see something interesting and we want to like veer off we can do so that's our plan for today we're going to do our self-guided walking tour get the tram to the main train station in berlin that's where the tour starts so then we'll go to a bakery grab something to start the day we want to go to like a proper traditional german bakery to try that i want to try a pretzel i've never tried a pretzel before so i want to try a pretzel so we'll do that then we'll start our tour um hopefully we'll have some lunch on the way we're just going to sort of have a wander around see what looks good have some lunch um and then once we finish our tour the one place i really want to go while we're here is the museum of magic and that's open till 8 p.m so we'll finish the walk go to the museum, do that, and then I think we're gonna come back here, use the sauna and the steam room, have a shower, get ready, and go for dinner. We found a couple of vegan places that look good, um, but I think the one we're gonna go to is um, traditional German food, but vegan, which is what I said I wanted to try before we got here. So hopefully that's open and we can go to that for dinner because that sounds really good. So we just got back from Aldi. I think we spent about 29 euros. Um, so I don't know exactly, probably like, like 25 pounds. Um, so we've got two full bags of shopping. Um, the alcohol is insanely cheap. It's absolutely wild. Um, so I got a little tiny bottle of what I think is Prosecco for 80 cents. It's mad. Yeah, I got a, uh, a pretzel for 30 cents. So what is it, like 20p? <laughs> it's mad. A, bottle for five a bottle of rum for six euros. Wild. Um, yeah, so we were gonna go and put the stuff in our little fridge in our room, but um, housekeeping are in there. Oh yeah, yeah, housekeeping are in there at the moment. So we're just sat in like this waiting area. <laughs> okay, so the time is something past 12, not entirely sure. We have made it to Berlin Hauptbahnhof. Um, oh. Huh? So that's like the, the main train station. So this is where our self-guided tour starts. So we've stopped off for something to eat. I got a cheese roll. And Jake got some currywurst, which is not currywurst. So that's good. There's this really cool building behind us. A cube or something. Cube Berlin. So we're going to finish our food and then start our tour. The time is, I don't know, I didn't actually look, probably six-ish maybe. Um, we, I can't remember when I last filmed, we did our walking tour. We didn't finish our walking tour. Um, it took quite a long time and we ended up um, renting some of the electric scooters which was really cool. Um, we used those for about an hour. There was quite a long stretch of road that we needed to go up. So we used them most of the way up there, parked them up. We went up this huge, big monument, which is the Victory Monument, I think. Um, there's some clips of it coming now. that and then we used the scooters all the way back down then we got to the Brandenburg gate we did a couple more bits from there and then um, we went to the Holocaust Memorial Museum which was really good um, really moving 
And then we came out of there and the rain was really bad. It was gone four o'clock, so we decided it was probably best to head back. Um, so we got the U-Bahn, I think, to the central station and then we got the tram back to the hotel. Um, we got in, had a coffee, had some of the potato salad that we bought from Aldi, which was so good. Um, and then we got into our swim stuff, it's my one from Killstar. You can see the lighting's really bad in here, but it's got like a pentagram, it's very cute. Um, and we went up to the sauna in the steam room, which is why I'm super red and shiny. Yeah, so we did sauna and the steam room, and now we're going to take showers and stuff, and get ready, and then go for dinner. Hello! We've left the hotel, we are at the tram station, a tram is pulling in, as you can see. So we're going to go to Alexander Platt. So yeah, one stop and then we're at Alexander Platt and then we will change to a bus. We've lost Jake. One stop and then we change to a bus, yeah? Or the U-Bahn. The U-Bahn. So join us for the U-Bahn. In. So we made it to the vegan restaurant. I thought, what was it? Yo Yo Kitchen? Yo Yo Kitchen, something like that. So we're here now and we've ordered vegan steak and chips to eat in. And then Jake's ordered a chicken schnitzel burger, a vegan one to go. And I've ordered a nugget wrap to go. And then we've got dips to eat while we're here. So I'm very excited. It's going to be delicious. Hopefully, it took us ages to get here, so hopefully the food is worth it. And then we're considering going to a bar called Fairy Tale, where it's Alice in Wonderland themed, and the drinks are like Fairy Tale themed, so that should be really cool. And that's really close to where our hotel is, so hopefully we'll sort of like get the tram back and then just walk it to Fairy Tale. It's open till 2 a.m., so I imagine we'll be fine. So yeah, we'll hopefully stock up on vegan snacks and then get pissed at fairy tale. <laughs> so we just ate dinner at what was it, Yo Yo Kitchen? Yeah. At Yo Yo, I think it's Kitchen. Not sure. I'll post a link down below. Um, best vegan food we've had so far in Berlin. It was amazing. Um, we're going to pop back to the hotel, drop our uh, takeaway orders off, and then go... Ooh, that was fun. The, the bar is within walking distance, so then we'll walk there, probably have like one, maybe two drinks at the most, and then come back. It's more for like the experience rather than getting pissed. Um, the bar seems really cool from what I've seen online. So yeah, we're going to give that a go. So the time is 1am, we are just getting in from Fairy Tale. so we ended up going and it was even cooler than I thought, there was taxidermy, there was, <laughs> I had a cocktail from a shoe, um, it was incredible, hidden passageways, you had to ring a special bell to get in, like it was super cool. Definitely recommend it, there'll be a link down below. Um, and we're just about to go into the room and get ready for bed and pass out and die, to be quite honest. What's up ghouls, it's day three in Germany. We are currently on the U-Bahn. Um, we did not finish our walking tour yesterday, as I said. Um, so we're going to finish it today and then um, carry on so we've got five more stops to do on that then we're hoping to go to the mall of berlin because that's super close to our last stop and um, my sister told me about this vegan food place the vidang i think it's called which sounds amazing they've got vegan burgers vegan nuggets i'm all about that um, i think vegan ice cream too so i just want one of everything on the menu um, so yeah we're going to do that then do the Museum of Magic, which I've been wanting to do since we, since the plane touched down. So 
so we'll do that. There is like a witchy shop that I want to go to, it's a little bit further out so if we've got time then we'll go there, fingers crossed. I think it's open till 6 so we might have time. It's currently I think about 10 past, quarter past 11. We do have a table booked at the Metropolis TV Tower this evening so that's going to be really cool, fingers crossed, it's for about half eight I think. Um, so yeah, that should be really cool. It is, what's the time? Ten past four. We are on the German time. German time. Yeah, what do we do today? We got up, we packed our cases, um, checked out, left the cases at reception we went into Alexanderplatz um, went to the dang one last time because we found out that there's a Vidang in the mall there so we went there got the dang got some souvenirs then went back to the hotel grabbed our stuff traveled to the airport the airport here is super weird so all the stuff like any sort of duty-free shopping or restaurants are there as soon as you get here then you hand your bag and it go through security and then there's nothing so we found one little shop. Oh, sorry. Are you taking a picture? I was. Sorry. So we found one little shop where we bought two of these, and in Germany they're ten percent. So that's a good time. Definitely going to miss that. Um, yes. Yeah, so we grabbed a couple of those, and then we just sat there and waited, waited for a while. Yeah. So we get in about half past five, and our coach isn't until seven o'clock, and then we get back to Southampton for nine. And then I'm pretty much going straight to bed because I stupidly didn't book tomorrow off work, so I've got to go into work tomorrow. Yeah, I'm considering getting a Prosecco when they come round because it just looks delicious. recorded because it was really shaky and really bumpy and I felt like my hand was flying all over the cabin so who knows how good the footage is but we'll give it a go. So I got off the plane, uh, took ages, got our bags, my bag had been opened so that was nice but nothing has been taken or broken or whatever so that's fine. Um, then we got the free shuttle back to Heathrow Terminal 2 and 3. Um, and now we are on the coach, ready to go home. We FaceTimed the cat because we missed her too much and it made me sadder because she's just so cute and it made me miss her more. And everything I told my mum, my mum explained to the cat, so that was nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, two hour journey, then we're home and the first thing I'm gonna do is just flop on the bed and die, I'm so tired. And I'm in work tomorrow morning, a half past eight, so that's fantastic. So yeah, hopefully I'll film a nice little end segment when I get in. <laughs> <laughs> 